everybody. It's your boy Razor Ramon the Barber. And I'm back with another fragrance review. Yeah, man, I'm back with another fragrance review. Currently, at the shooting of this video, we sitting at 857 subscribers on the road to 1,000. AKA 1,000 Wow, AKA 1,000. So I need y'all to do your boy a favor, man. Yeah, I need you to do your boy a favor. I need you to like. I need you to share. I need you to comment. And I need you to subscribe. Yeah, man. I need you to do that for your boy. So when we get to 1,000, we'll worry about 1,001. All right. Got something for y'all today, man. Shouts out to my boy, Man Champ, man. Shouts out to the homie, Man Champ, for sending me these uh, samples. It's from the House of Mind Games. We got three fragrances we gonna touch on from the House of Mind Games. But before we hop into these three fragrances, y'all know how we do on the channel. Got a little bit of bamboo tonight, man. Yeah, a little bit of bamboo. Shout out to my rum drink. Let's see, can we get that to focus, man? There we go. There we go. Yeah. That's some that's some slight, man. Not nothing too much, man. Something to help you go to sleep. Cheers to go. Alright, we're gonna hop into these three fragrances from Mind Game. And the first one up from the house of Mind Games is Blockade. Or as I say, Blockhead. <laughs> it's from the House of Mind Game, and it is Blockade. And this is their, um, I don't, I, I wouldn't say it's their take on Creed Aventus, but it reminds you of Creed Aventus. Um, we're gonna spray a little bit, we're gonna get a little bit on skin. Let's see what I ain't got. I don't think I got nothing over here. So hard to grab these little bottles, man, when your hand big. Again, man, shout out to the homie Madden Champ, man, for sending me these. Yeah, it reminds you of, uh, it reminds you of, of Creed. It's in that wheelhouse. So top notes of mango skin. You definitely get that mango skin. It's sweet. But you smell that pink pep, that, that pink pepper right behind it. A real spice. Not a, it's not real heavy. But just enough to give it some kick. So top notes are mango skin, pink pepper, tomato leaf, bergamot, and burger, bergamot koopa. I think I'm saying that right. Middle notes are lavender, mango flower, watery, uh, cleaning, star anise. Dry down is curry valoris, valoris D. I don't know what that is. I should have looked it up. Patchouli, um, ambro star, and ooh. It's water, woody, leathery, fruity. That's the cause you get. So that mango flower mixed with that mango skin, I'm definitely get a sweet mango. The mango is not, it's not hiding at all. So instead of using like the pineapple and birch uh, that uh, Aventus would use, it's more so using the mango skin with the mango flower. Um, you get some some oud. Kind of giving you uh, the dry wood, dry leather uh, type vibe. Getting a little powderiness from the lavender. Still picking up on that bergamot up top. But this is watery, man. This is juicy. I would definitely say if you have a Ventus, I would still say get this because it's different. It reminds you of a Ventus, but it still kind of does its own thing. That mango skin, that mango flower mixed with that pink pepper. It's definitely different. Uh, I'm giving this a nine, man, right off the rip. I'm giving this a nine, easy. This is a beautiful fragrance, real beautiful. Man, that smells great. That smells great. Um, wow, that smells great. But keep in mind, though, man, this fragrance is, uh, I'm on the website right now. This fragrance is uh, $375 for 100 ml. <laughs> they do have two ml samples. For 10 bucks though. So if you want to try it out, I'll put the description down below. And um, I'll put the link in the description down below. That way you can get your 2MF if you want to try it out. 
But the first one from the House of Mind Games is Blockade. It's a nice fragrance, man. And as you can see, they kind of got uh, uh, a whole light and, and dark type vibes. They got uh, they, they kind of play off the the chest vibe. So this is, I think, this is a night. This is like a, a, a white night. All right, the next one we're gonna hop into from the House of Blockade is called Double Attack. Double Attack. See, can we get that to focus? Again, man, shout out to the homie Man Champ, man, for sending me these. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Um, a lot of people don't like to use the word subscribe or subscribers, but um, shout out to the, um, a, a one of my loyal subscribers, bro. Um, cause I don't look at it as a a, a bad term, man. This is somebody that um, buys into my vision. Uh, my content, the way I see fragrances, the way I smell them, and my personality that I bring forth through the camera. So I just don't look at the term subscriber as something um, lightly. This somebody that uh, when you subscribe to some, um, even though it's free, you still kind of pay with your time and give your effort to it. So I don't shy away from saying uh, appreciate, um, appreciate you or thank you to my subscribers because I don't take it lightly that somebody uh, buys into my vision and my personality when it comes to uh, bringing forth these fragrances. Let alone, man, send me some fragrances, man, to for review content. Uh, appreciate you, man, Temp, man. Real talk, bro. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, just had to get that out of the way, man, um, because it's, I'm very appreciative of it. Uh, but the second fragrance is from the House of Mind Games is Double Attack. And this is their uh, Citrus Woozy edible they use edible but it because it has a, a chocolate accord in it but um the top notes are bitter or orange bitters um pimento oil pink pepper um agave flower cinnamon madagascar geranium the dry down is dark chocolate vanilla madagascar available bourbon indian uh sandalwood i sprayed this earlier but i'm gonna spray it again three letter opening I'll pick that up later. You definitely getting that orange bitter. You definitely getting that pink pepper. I'm getting some cinnamon. Some spice from the cinnamon. Then immediately, probably like five, six seconds into it, you start picking up on that dark chocolate. And that dark chocolate start pumping. I'm getting heavy whiffs of that dark chocolate now. Still smelling the orange bitters a little bit. The pepper has kind of simmered down some. Now I start moving into the Madagascar and I'm getting a woodsy, not a woodsy, a, a boozy, uh, a booziness. That's that's the bourbon, the vetiver, the vetiver bourbon. This is nice, man. This is nice. This is right on time for fall, man. This is right on time for fall season. I'm liking this, man. I'm liking this. I'm gonna have to go back on my first one, man. I'm giving the first one. I, now I'm, I gotta get this a nine, man. This this is nice. This is nice, man. That dark chocolate came in um, and stole my heart, man. This is nice. This is real nice right here. Especially anything with vanilla in it. Vanilla and dark chocolate. I'm, I'm, I'm head over heels already. Yeah, this definitely a citry, woodsy. And a, a, kind of a garment. It kind of start off um, as a um, real spicy. You get some citrus or the orange bitters, and then it just turns uh, it turns into like a garment. This is nice, man. This is nice. I mean, yeah, I'm giving this a nine, man. Second fragrance is Double Attack um, by Mind Games. This is definitely a fall, winter, early spring. Easy. Um, this is definitely date night, movies, um, dinner with your boo. Yeah, this is nice, man. This is something you pull out when you dressed up. This is nice. Yeah, double tag is nice. So as you can see, this the uh, I guess on the, when it's kind of a, a darker fragrance, they kind of use the um, uh, the black. Like when you playing chess, like in real life, you got the people that got uh, two people. You you know you got the the person that got the white chess pieces, 
and the opponent has the, the dark chest uh, pieces. So I guess depending on the the the, the darkness or the, the brightness or the airiness uh, of the fragrance, the dark fragrance is gonna be, um, the more darker fragrance is gonna be the black chest pieces and the lighter fragrances are gonna be uh, the white chest pieces. It's kind of a nice take, kind of different. All right, and the last fragrance we got is uh, Jadobi. Jadobi. I think that's how you say it. Jadobi. Let's see, can we get that to focus? There we go. Trying to clash it with the light. There we go. Jadobi. And this is... Um, Rouge, uh, Griselle, Mandarin, uh, Oil, Madagascar. Middle notes are bright red pomegranate, rose, amber star, benzoid, vintage leather, patchouli, and salubi. <laughs> I guess that's how you pronounce that. I sprayed this early and I got a heavy dose of that pomegranate. That pomegranate picked up heavy. I'm going to spray it again to relay the opening though. Right. Yeah, so I'm getting that um that rouge Griselle. I'm a uh, I'm I'm guessing that's a, a flower because I'm also getting uh, mandarin. So I'm smelling the sweet orange mixed with that rouge. I'm getting that up top. Now I'm starting to pick up on the pomegranate and the rose. It's a nice nose, nice rose too. Almost kind of remind you of a um, uh, a Bulgarian rose, more of a wet floral, not like a Turkish rose, not like jammy, more like a Bulgarian rose. This is nice. Starting to pick up on a little dryness, the the vintage leather. I could pick up on that a, a, a little bit. I start to smell the leather creep for it. Not a real harsh leather though, almost like a smooth leather jacket. And that patchouli oil is real thick, rich. This is nice. Yeah, man, this is nice. I get this like an eight and a half. This won't be for everybody because the rolls, the rolls and the floral notes in it can be kind of challenging, especially with the leather. And kind of the resonance of the, uh, sorry for not looking at the camera. I'm just, man, this fragrance got me um, locked in. And kind of the resins from the benzoid. This is definitely for a mature nose. I can see the other two fragrances kind of, um, somebody that's new to fragrances hopping out there and kind of getting into those two fragrances. But this is definitely for a more mature nose because of the notes that's in it. Those different roses mixed with the sweetness of that pomegranate. That thick reach patchouli. That soft leather mixed with uh, the resins of the uh, the benzoid. This is nice, man. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. This is definitely fall time, too. Definitely fall time. I can see this being a um, businessman. I can see this being casual. This can even be a daily driver. Yeah, this nice, man. More darker. So I can see why they went with uh, it being um, part of the Black Knight. This is definitely a, a darker, darker fragrance with the leather. And that thick patchouli. Nice fragrances, man. Nice, nice fragrances. Again, man. I'm, I'll link the descriptions of these and I'll link the, I put the link in the descriptions of these fragrances uh, if you want to try the, uh, the two mls the two mls are, are, are 10 bucks um, like I said these fragrances are expensive 100 ml cost you 375 they don't look like they got out to pay oh wait they got shop so if you got shop you can um, you can get 100 ml for uh, four interest pays a, a, a 500 bucks hey you got to get out you live. <laughs> nobody ask, nobody gonna ask how you pay for it. They just gonna tell you you smell good. You figure deal me, but 
Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Tuning in. Shout out to my guy, Madden Champ, man. Appreciate the homie, man, for sending me these samples. I'm happy, man, that I got my nose on these. I don't know when I'm be able to go get a bottle. I'm gonna have to start waiting till them YouTube, them YouTube checks start kicking in. <laughs> but nevertheless, man, these are some dope fragrances. These are some dope, dope fragrances. I really enjoy each and every one of them. They're different and unique. Um, kind of, um, kind of different, man, from a lot that's what's going on now in the frag game, especially uh, jo jo the last one, Jehovah D. This is dope, man. This is dope. Even though I gave it an 8.5. I can see this really growing on me because it, it, the more I dry down, man, the more I'm starting to like it. It's starting to get real sweet with that uh, patchouli. And that leather's just starting to get real smooth, man. This is nice, man. This is real nice. I'm gonna give you all these nine, man. All these nine. <laughs> this is right here really growing on me, man. This is a dope fragrance. I'm liking it with that rose, man, and that mandarin. Yeah, the citrus in this is nice. It's a real sweet citrus, too. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. As always, until next time, it's a transmission.